Hey everybody, um, wanted to just give you a little update or um, I guess uh, what will be a little bit more than just an update. Um, some very bad news um, and things that have been happening for me over the last few years and it's kind of all finally reached ahead. Um, this is going to be pretty much the end of the hobby for me. Um, I mean it kind of already has been over the last couple years. Um, you've kind of saw about two years, two, three years ago, what I've been able to purchase in this hobby really dropped off from what it used to be. And uh, it's not because I'm making any less at my job, it's just because of the price of everything else is going up so much. Um, it's just kind of pushed me out of all of my hobbies one by one. Um, still riding the bike, that's really all that I have left. Um, as far as a hobby and I have limited involvement in that now and I'm trying to keep things as trim as possible financially but um, this is going to be the end of uh, trains for you know probably a good long while for me um, what's going on is um, place I currently rent got bought and you know just like many other people um, it's one of these companies that buys up residential properties and then they have no intentions of selling it to individual owners. They just buy them and keep them as rentals and jack up everybody's rent. Um, in my case, it, it's going up more than 50%. So I'm in a situation now where pretty much everything I have except for the basic essentials is going to be going into storage. And I'm going to be going into a super small space, super low cost ultra save mode uh, for, for pretty much for winter, um, at least for the foreseeable next six months. The goal is that after that time I have, you know, I'm as financially sound as possible and I can look into getting something more permanent or something where I have a little bit more control over costs and, you know, I don't have to worry about the property being sold out from under me, uh, which is the same thing that kind of happened four years ago. Um, this, this seems to happen to me every couple years. Um, and you know, it's cause I'm in a spot where I don't have enough to buy anything. Um, and even if there was stuff to buy, it's not available. Um, so, you know, it's a situation that many, many people in this country are running into. Um, so I am too. And, um, I still have some things pre-ordered. Um, I'm not sure it's going to, how it's going to work out and me trying to afford those things. Um, I have three of the uh, Broadway Limited uh, Paragon 4 Challengers, actually three of them, uh, pre-ordered that were in the Collector's Club. Um, I have a Scale Trains Class J. Um, very soon, within the next month or two, will probably be the Broadway Limited um, Q2s. I have one of those ordered. And, um, of course, the Broadway S1. So, I think a really cool goal really cool, oh my goodness, cool goal would be to um, have a new layout built in a new place just in time for the S1 to come out and to actually run that the way it's meant to be run. I think that would be pretty neat to uh, do. But um, it's been my pleasure over the last 10 years um, getting back into this hobby. I mean, I was in it as a kid, um, kind of got out of it. As a teenager, um, once I you know started getting into other things and kind of dived into it again in 2014, and um, you know you've saw this channel over the last 10 years, um, all the new locomotives that we took a look at. You know it was it was very cool for me to give my viewpoints on a lot of those and have you kind of along for the ride, and I hope that it gave you some detail into what you may be purchasing and um, some things to look out for and help you be a little bit more informed. Um, that's certainly always been the goal of this channel. It's never been about monetization or Patreons or any of those things. You know, I'm not going to start a GoFundMe. Um, you know, it, it's been more for my enjoying, enjoyment of the hobby and sharing it with everybody else. Um, and that's really what I've enjoyed. You know, I don't buy things specifically just to review. If it's not something that I'm interested in, I don't buy it. Um, I've never had a single model on this channel that wasn't purchased with my own money. Um, unfortunately, 
the day and age of being able to afford multiple $500 locomotives all the time is just past, um, at least for me. So, you know, I, I have, you know, the majority of the things that I want, you know, there's little bits and pieces in the collection that I would like to pick up. I mean, there's certainly, I think I have a total of six engines that are on order. When those come on in, in on order, um, with the exception of maybe like Christmas, probably won't have tracks set up anywhere to actually run them or test them. Um, you know, hopefully around Christmas, maybe, you know, by then if the Q2's out, I can give you a little rundown on it. I'm sure it'll be months later after everybody's already had theirs. Um, but that's it for this one. So, um, take care of yourselves, you know, don't extend yourselves out too far financially in this hobby. Uh, make sure your bills are paid first. Um, I've never been in a situation where I couldn't pay my bills. Um, so, you know, I, I'm doing the responsible thing here and, you know, just trying to back out of everything for a couple months at least and to try to build myself back up into a better permanent solution. So that's it for this one. And um, thanks for being along for the ride. And um, until we see each other again.